Well, Chicago is getting more federal resources to fight crime. New high-tech equipment will help police turn a single bullet into a vital investigative tool. CBS 2's Lauren Victory joins us now from District 9 headquarters in Bridgeport. Hi, Lauren. Good morning, Aaron and Marissa. Well, behind me is the Nibin van, and it's actually on loan from the feds. It's already processed 100 entries from Chicago shooting scenes and connected 80% of those entries to previous crimes. ATF has run this mobile crime lab in Chicago since the beginning of June. The first weekend, crews collected more gun evidence than the van's entire month in Baltimore. Now, recovered guns can be test fired. Those shell casings and others from the street are then entered into the National Integrated Ballistic information network or NIBIN. That works like a fingerprint database. It can then track those weapons to previously unsolved cases. Senator Dick Durbin is pushing hard for Chicago to get more technology like this. The ATF says it's actually been around since the 1990s. It's uh, far advanced now compared to them uh, with the 3D imaging, HD 3D capabilities. So it's really uh, come a long way in the last 20 some years of the existence. Uh, and the program's grown. Combined with the Safe Neighborhoods Act, this partnership with ATF will help us both track down gun offenders and make sure they pay the price for their actions in court. Back out here live, another look at this van. The superintendent says Nibin works a lot faster than CPT's, CPD's usual ballistic resources. He is hoping it can stay here for the entirety of summer here in Chicago. The van's currently only scheduled to be here for 60 days. Live uh, outside the 9th District Police Station, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Aaron and Marissa. It's a great asset, Lauren. Thank mm -hmm. you.